Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to correct latency in Audacity, a beginner's tutorial. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Okay, latency. It happens when we're recording into our computer because there's a delay from your microphone into the computer and then finally into the software. That can vary from a couple of milliseconds to a few hundred milliseconds. We're going to find out what that is and make it so Audacity is absolutely synchronized. So first of all, I'll record a voiceover. This is a test. Now I did some clicks at the end for a specific reason. If I go ahead and start a new stereo track and I go to the start of that track and try to record, watch this. This is a test. What it should do is sync up exactly. But if I zoom in on this little click here, you'll see that they don't sync up exactly. Now this can pose a problem when you're doing things like syncing to music tracks, singing vocals, and you want things to sync perfectly. If I highlight from the start of that click to that click, you will see there's a delay of around about, well, look at that. That's absolutely amazing. So we're going from here to here, and we're trying to isolate exactly how long we've got. And you can see that there is quite a delay. It's going from 137 up to about 219. Okay, so we're going from 137, let's call it 140, to 219. So that means there's about 80 milliseconds of latency. Now, the way that I can correct this is I can go into the edit menu, into preferences, and I can find straight away when I load up preferences, devices, and the latency compensation is 130 milliseconds in the minus, but that's not enough. We need to add on that extra 80, which is going to take this to 210. And then hopefully that should be the latency corrected. There's only one way to figure this all out, and that is to zoom right out, delete that track, bring the playhead to the start there, and record again. This is a test. Stop, and hopefully my calculations have been enough to pretty much sync those up. Maybe I'm a few milliseconds out, but things are much better. And that's a beginner's guide to latency correction. Make sure you do it, especially if you're recording multiple tracks in Audacity. Check out my Audacity Ultimate Course for Beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity.